Um, it's Wednesday, and we're going to um, start pretty quicker than usual. Let me make sure I have all these things muted. Quicker than usual on the learning part of the stream. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Um, because Spencer's leaving at 8, and then I'll be on my own after that. So I don't think we look orange today. No way. If anything, we'll be too, not. too white, which is fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, over here, see how the, it's probably partly the monitor, because see over here we look fine. So right, that monitor so makes us look more white and more orange. This one? Yeah, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I think that we have to go more by this is going to be the, I think this is, yeah, so therefore the color is fine. Hello, folks. I see that we have two viewers. Um, per usual, we're uh, dickering, not dickering. Hickering. <laughs> tinkering with our setup. Hey, Milk the Funk. We Milk the Funk. <laughs> um, milk that funk. What is this song? I think it's got the funk. Oh. Right, you don't know that one? Uh, maybe. Come on, you gotta know about disco. I do. I do know disco. I know. <laughs> hey, man, moth. Hey, me pets. Oh, yeah, oh it's by Parliament. How does it go? I already sang it. I don't want to sing it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> got a milk day funk. Uh, oh, thanks, man, moth. All right, I gotta make this bigger. Although we've oh, got, yeah, it over we got here. it over here. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have it over we here. we got it all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me put this. Oh, Fraud With here. is here? Hey, Fraud With, how's it going? <laughs> MT Near is joining us, closer. too. Uh, and actually, I found out it's Mountaineer. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> I could have figured that out. Mountaineer 89. And I remembered. So go me. Yeah, we've got a little bit of competition right now with the streams. Um, but Dr. DD777, you were just, I was just watching you on YouTube. Nice. Hmm. You have to go back to that video after this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm wondering, should I play maybe one person? I don't want to, we're not going to delay too long today because Spencer has to leave in 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. So how long do you think you need to go over the two games? Well, why don't we go over the games first just we'll to make sure make we get sure. through them. Okay, that probably does make sense. Um, usually I like to delay it and give people a chance to get here. We already got about 20 but, people. Um, okay, so we are going to go ahead and get started. Usually I'll start out by playing people. Not so today. <laughs> Extraneous circumstances. <laughs> Analysis board. All right, so we're gonna get it going. Yeah, we'll look at a couple of exchange French games. You know, in the exchange French. Mm -hmm. The first one's gonna be some guy against Rubenstein. Hey, Nathan. His name's Forgax. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I never heard of him, obviously, frankly. Wait, now what now? For what? That was his name. <clears throat> so exchange French. And he plays mm -hmm. knight f3. Now, Rubenstein is like a really classical and boring player. Mm -hmm. So he played kind of like the most solid way, right? We'll look at the next game where Kramnik plays knight, uh, knight c6 instead of knight f6. Okay. So, you know, that'll be pretty, a little sharper. Because this gets like pretty dull. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> Do you remember we looked at something like this before? <laughs> I don't know that I remember, but it's okay. I'll remember eventually. Okay. It's hard for me to, to, you know, if I don't review, which I didn't do, to remember exactly. Yeah, but, I mean, it was all symmetrical. I thought you'd remember it because it's all symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I do, but I don't remember every detail about it. Okay. So he goes... Uh, he goes for the trade. Mm -hmm. Rookie one. Yeah, super boring stuff so far. Yeah, Trades these, it even here. these are how my games go a lot. At right. the lower level, which is kind of funny. So I'm going to turn this off. Actually, after rook f I, I messed, up, messed up the move order here. After rook f1, rook f8, he actually played h3. 
and then took it. This is the correct situation here. Mm -hmm. Like this. And he played bishop g6. See, this is something that you probably wouldn't do, right? I wouldn't want to do it because it doubles my pawns. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see here that it's not a big deal. In fact, uh, what's his name? Rubenstein does well to actually use the pawns on the king side and put some pressure on white, mm -hmm. as we'll see. Well, yeah, if, yeah. Grandmasters obviously don't worry as much about that because they already know that's going to happen and probably have a plan. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, he wants to win with black, even though he played kind of a boring way. Mm -hmm. He figures he can still outplay the guy because he's better than the guy. I don't even know his name. <laughs> you know, so he's probably better than that guy. Mm -hmm. So he figures, like, if the position is a little bit imbalanced, he can at least try to win it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Frodwith says, did both players fall asleep? <laughs> right. Well, I guess so. And then black dreamed of a way to win. <laughs> yeah. No review minus two points. What? <laughs> he, wants, he wants a review from the last thing that we looked at. Oh, well, yeah, the reason why Bishop takes is Spencer has to leave in 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to rush on in, fools rush in. Yes. So uh, here he plays knight e f1. Mm -hmm. But I think that it would make a lot of sense to put the knight on d3 here. That seems like a really good square for the knight. In fact, I was analyzing this with an engine, and after here, knight f8, it wanted him to go back to go to d3, which is okay. pretty funny. Even here, knight e1 is a good move to go to d3. Mm -hmm. Instead, he took and takes here. And there are actually some notes by Lasker that I found in chess base. Queen a4. Lasker says, black has subtly brought his pawns into the center, which he did by taking like this, he means. Okay. Bringing them towards the center. White shouldn't underestimate the danger of their advance. And with moves as those in the text, he should not lo lose time. He could very well have met the menace of placing the knight on f4 by the maneuver knight b1, or knight b3 to c1 to d3 which is in line with what I was saying earlier about how he could have just put his knight on d3, his other knight. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, if his knight was there and he played this, then his other knight could go there to f3, he would have saved time. Oh, okay. And still have oh, the knights on f3 and, and e3. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and d3, I mean. So, yeah, I mean, still he shouldn't be in a lot of trouble, obviously. But it's kind of easy for black to play. And that's sort of what you're looking for. If you can try to actually make progress and your opponent sort of is stuck defending, then, well, in practice, you could be better. And that's how you can win kind of a boring position like this. Mm -hmm. Hey, kangaroo, how's it going? Hey, kangaroo. <laughs> yeah. So his pawn's attack, so he played a6. That seems pretty safe. Mm -hmm. Knight f1, knight e6. And he goes for g3, because he's trying to stop knife f4. Okay. You know? Oh, we got a noise. Something happened. Kangaroo subscribe. It's here too. Nice. Thank you, Kangaroo. 15 months. Pretty Yay. cool. And Lasker says, now the problem of defense has become complicated. The pawn at G3 is a mark. Mm -hmm. Interesting uh, way to speak, huh? <laughs> but anyways. Um, wait, no, this is Lasker's comment? Yeah. And he said, what? Is, the is pawn at G3 mark? is a mark. <laughs> because he wants to do that. Now, what year is this game from? Let me check my notes here. Because, yeah, the way... 1909. Yeah, the way... I was about to say, the way they're talking is very <laughs> old archaic. Timey. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. I love those old notes, though. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> really definitely. great that you found the Lasker notes. Yeah, definitely. Um, so he goes for f5. Mm -hmm. Trying to mark that pawn. Yeah. <laughs> And he plays f4, which is the logical continuation. Um, he didn't have to, like, change the situation. I think already, like, black is is better just in general. Mm -hmm. He's got more pawns towards the center, and he has a better minor piece with this bishop. And he, it's not like you can really stop him from going here unless you maneuver your knight there. or, or so, Even still, he could play f4. So it's very difficult to stop that advance. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so I was looking at like some other maneuvers, like you could even try something like this. Knight g7 to h5 mm-hmm. is interesting. And uh, yeah, that also is putting a little pressure here. Um, but f4 is a logical way. Eventually you would play f4 anyway. So he figures he might as well do it now. Yeah. Hey, Doric the cat. How's it going? And the pawn here is pretty annoying. Not only does it threaten... Well, it doesn't really threaten that, I guess. But it puts pressure here. But it also, because he moves past, it stops the knight from moving. Oh, yeah. Which is pretty nice. And he goes for a, a nice move here. Well, maybe you can try to guess the move, huh? The next move? Yeah, black to play. He played a pretty aggressive move. It's not exactly a forcing move. It doesn't really make a threat. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Doesn't make a threat? Not um. necessarily. <laughs> well, uh, Callie's here, too. Hey, Callie. Hey, Callie. Callie Gambler. Yeah, <laughs> White's Queen is off buying hot dogs. <laughs> hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Hey, Tinsta Boy. I don't remember you, Tinsta Boy. Did you come here before? And we're just quiet and we didn't notice? Um, let me see. An aggressive move. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, Pepe Lou wants F5. That is an aggressive move. Mm hmm. That's, yeah. I don't know, maybe Queen B6 attacking the pawn up there. I said it wasn't a forcing move. Oh. <laughs> well, you said aggressive. Yeah. So. Uh, that's aggressive. Well, it makes a one-move threat, but we can just play b4 or, I know. or something. So, all right, so you want aggressive and not forcing, not too aggressive. <laughs> right, <laughs> a little balance, right? Um, but I'll tell you what he wants to do. He wants to open up the position because he's got a bishop, and the other guy doesn't have a bishop. Mm -hmm. Hey, Let's I mean, no. See. I mean, no. Open up the position. In the house. Jin's here hanging out with us, too. Mm, oh, yeah. Pepe Lou's got it. I'm not it. really sure. Maybe Queen E7. Why don't you Does do that open up the position? No, but it, um, no. I don't That's know how okay. other than what they said, F5. I don't know. C5. Oh, C5? Okay. Yeah. Any way that you trade pawns is opening up a position. Mm -hmm. So usually you open up a position by making a pawn break where the pawns are attacking each other. Mm -hmm. That's the most common way to open the position. Okay. F5 would also do that, I suppose. Um, probably I would take it, I'm guessing. And after you take back, your pawn structure is pretty bad with double isolated F pawns. Mm -hmm. Although my king's pretty weak too. But... Uh, yeah, it's tough for your bishop to get in there. Yeah. He's trying to get his bishop in on this diagonal. Okay, I see. Yeah, that's the deal. C5 is definitely a really double-edged move, and I think a, a tough one to, uh, you know, to evaluate. Mm -hmm. Alaska says black initiates an attack, which, in comparison to the slight force put in action, has extraordinary vigor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, he's saying that obviously there's not a lot of material on the board, but it's still pretty tough for white to handle this. Because basically, no matter what white does, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. um, like if, if white takes it, for example, either way of capturing is fine. Lasker thinks the bishop takes would be the way to go to keep the bishop on the open diagonal. But even knight takes to go to e4 would oh, be yeah. kind of nice as well. Mm -hmm. If white doesn't take then black will take, and white will have an isolated d-pawn also. Well, I guess both sides will. But then black can try to target that pawn with some, uh, you know, some initiative there against right. it. Right, yeah, which, I can see that. Which actually he does that a lot later in the game. Mm -hmm. So here comes a big check. Hey, Pepe, you and I'm a new. Yeah, I'm queen e8 new. check is what he did, actually. Pepe, you. <laughs> yeah. Good, sleep is for the weak, Neurononim. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nurnonum. And now he plays uh, definitely a mistake. Uh, the best move is he could just play here to get his knight back in the game. He'd still have this problem after C takes that he's going to get an isolated pawn. 
like I said, black also has an isolated pawn, but black's sort of the one doing the attacking, so white's going to be uh, having to defend that pawn or lose it, probably. Uh, he could also take, but like we were saying, either way of taking is going to be nice for, for black. Uh, but instead he goes for g5, trying to sort of, you know, cut the king off, I guess. Mm -hmm. King is sort of trapped here. Uh, not that he can really attack the king. You know, like this knight's not really doing it. I mean, he's, I guess if he gets some time, he could, though, right? Mate. So mm -hmm. that'd be nice if uh, Rubenstein just falls asleep and allows that to happen. <laughs> but even still, if his knight is here, I could play like a trick like this, maybe. But anyways, you know, he could he could do stuff too, so White would love to do that if possible. But what Rubenstein does is he, well, first of all, he trades here, so he gave him the weak pawn. And then he's like, get this queen out of here. Queen e7x clam. Not going to give him the time to go checkmate him. And the problem is now that this g pawn is weak. Mm -hmm. I see that. Yeah, the way the guy played, he <clears throat> played queen c8. But even if he, for example, traded and defended the pawn, mm -hmm. black is a really strong move here to actually ensure a win of a pawn. Oh, 200 Yay. bits from GM Benjamin Thank Feingold. You. Thank you, GM Benjamin Feingold. So, I'm sorry, so you said um, black would have a strong... Okay. Yeah, a strong move, winning a pawn by force. Um... Let me look for that. All right, he is sort of forced to trade Pepe, but it it also loses a pawn. So the queens. Trade. Yeah. Because I thought if they so didn't... he didn't trade the queens. Oh, I thought that meant they would lose a pawn if they didn't trade. Right. Either way, actually. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let me then. I guess that's good. Let me not do that. Right. That's what he figured. Yeah. That's why he didn't <laughs> go for this. Okay, but let me see. Um. Bishop b4, a5, b6. Yeah, but I could play in the meantime knight d2 to knight 1 d2 to b3. So that wouldn't win the pawn. Although that is a pretty nice idea. And anyways, you could go bishop d8 to b6 to accomplish the same thing as level 20 sword points out. Oh, but there are there are arguing about it. Knight 1 d2 to b3. Well, either way. Right? Oh, I guess the idea of bishop b4 is that knight 1d2, you can take the pawn in that way. Interesting. Um, couldn't Interesting. you... Interesting. Stop. Couldn't you play um, f6? Yeah, f6 was what I had. But maybe, uh, maybe Pepe's right. He wants to just go around here, bring it around town. Mm -hmm. And in this way, he stops knight d2, because then we could take it and take this. But actually, I can find a defense here. We'll play king h3. Then we'll, we're going to go up here. So now if you take this, I'm going to try to win this. Although this might be hanging at the end. So yeah, that's a pretty interesting way to go. You could try to do this. Hmm. Rather yeah. than f6? Yeah, but, but f6 wins the pawn without much calculation. Because this is threatened. Mm -hmm. And if you take it and take, then it's a fork. Right. So that, that just wins a clean pawn. What, why don't we look at the other way maybe with the engine and just see how that All right, work. yeah, maybe, uh, maybe it'll work too. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah, it says f6 wins. Bishop b4 is the second best move. Okay. It does recommend king h3. Oh, wait, wait, it changes its mind a bit. I like the king h3, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try it, okay. even though it doesn't even give it at all. No, it just gives up the pawn, actually. Hmm. Knight b1. Oh, it's going to try to win this real quick. I don't know. I feel like I could save it, though. It's actually pretty close to equal. Point two. Mm hmm That's interesting to me, because I would think that black should be pretty close to winning here. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it just is up a pawn. I mean, these aren't the best pawns ever. Mm -hmm. But even still, I feel like black should be pretty happy with this. 
But yeah, f6 is just totally winning. Wins a pawn. And, well, one thing is it keeps the bishop against knight. So, you know, in this variation, we're winning a pawn without having to give up our bishop. Mm -hmm. So that should be uh, obviously preferred. I don't want to give up my bishop. My bishop's better. And, yeah, the black king isn't great in that variation. That's true, Pepe. The black king in, in this variation, uh, you know, with bishop before and so on, would take some time to get get in the game. Yeah. Or the white king's pretty good. Oh, uh -uh. it's already uh, it's already <laughs> on low battery. Hey, yeah, let me just do it. I remember we had to keep it uh we had to keep it unplugged though. <laughs> you know. Oh. Well, yeah. It's on... Because it's because we got too much stuff plugged in. Yeah, yeah. I've got much. Okay. Yeah, F6 also gets the king into the game, which is another benefit, double benefit. So probably White saw one of those two variations and thought, well, I'm, if I'm going to lose the pawn anyway, I might as well keep the queens on the board, right, with queen c8. But for the rest of the game, he was just winning and won it. He does go bishop before. Yeah, his technique was obviously really good, just like you'd expect. Wait, go back. I'm sorry, I lost oh. what we were doing. Yeah, so he didn't trade queens. Okay. So he moved here. All right. And then it picked up the pawn anyway. Like this. And then h4, knight e4. Just make sure I play the right moves here. So he goes back to f1. Kicks the queen out of there. Queen g4. What game is it? It's uh, Rubenstein is black against some guy. That was his name. <laughs> Weird name, but you know somebody had to have it. Have it. Some guy. H five. So it looks like you know White's getting some semblance of counterplay, but yeah, it's not a big deal. The knight on f one is so bad; he can't get that into the attack. And doesn't even have doubled pawns anymore. Bishop d six, so he can get his knight out. Queen e2, putting a little pin action going on there. So he gets out of the pin. Yeah, but here comes a big check because of the pin there on the f-pawn. Another big check. It's like payday for this guy. He's just getting tons of checks. Here we go. Takes this knight. Take back the knight. And then queen h3. He goes for this. Well, that sort of is akin to resigning, but he was a little bit concerned if he tried to run his queen away that it would be f3 followed by mate. Mm -hmm. Or f3, and if your knight moves, you have to worry about h2 as well because my bishop would be open. But, okay, he's going to lose for sure in this endgame. But this is really good technique here. Now he does steal Pepe's idea. Like this. And now the knight is just stuck there forever. Oh, yeah. Defending. Yeah, exactly right. So he just wins it pretty much out of hand because he's up a pawn on the king side because he took that pawn. Hey, CL Smith. Check. Hops in knight c5 because, you know, you got to do something, I guess. And then, yeah, a little bit of calculation needed here, I'm sure, but after f3, resigns, even though never play f3, unless your opponent has to resign the, <laughs> the next move. Um, you know, the problem is he's going to play this move next, where right. this queen is unstoppable, mm -hmm. but you can't really do anything about that. Um, you know, like, let's say, for example, you go here, I guess, yeah. would be a try. But it's pretty easy to just play this move. Yeah. Then f2 is coming next. And then, uh, well, you can't let me queen, but I'm going to. Mm. <laughs> and I'll get two queens, and then I'll win. Although if it was like a game at the chess camp, then anything could happen here. <laughs> so, yeah, That's that, true. That was kind of a nice win. Um, obviously, he was a lot stronger than his opponent. And it was like a pretty boring game, you know, like around here. Mm-hmm. But he showed that you can grind it out if you understand the position a little bit better than your opponent. Like, he got just a couple of uh, captures towards the center. Mm -hmm. You know, like this. 
And that was all he needed to try to play for a win on the king side. Yeah. And this mm -hmm. was nice, too. He, like, provoked the guy to play g3 and then attacked g3. Classy stuff. And then c5 was important as well. I feel like a lot of people who play the French and they complain that the exchange French is too boring, mm -hmm. it's because they won't play pawn breaks like f4 and c5. And if you don't do stuff like that ever, then you're never going to create anything on the board yeah. to try to win with. Mm -hmm. Like how Rubenstein I did. like this example because... It shows me, you know, a lower rated player that, you know, the double pawns can be an advantage sometimes. Can you look and see who who the opponent was just for his story? Oh, I mean, I saw his name. Accuracy. How Ooh. do you spell it? His last name is F-O-R-G-A-C-S. G-A, Frogax? Yeah, that's what I said, Frogax, mm -hmm. Forgax. Okay. It's Forgax. F -O -O -F -O -F -O yeah. Forgax. Yeah. What year? Hey, Max, yeah, what year? I already was told it? you. Well, I, I don't remember. 1909. <laughs> oh, that's right, because we were talking about the yeah. speech. Hey, ap apocalyptic chic. <laughs> yeah, old Forgax. Um, Sounds like an alien name. <laughs> you know, like on Rick and Morty? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like the name of an alien. Yeah, it does, kind of. How's everybody doing? We, st we jumped right into the uh, lesson this evening, because... Spencer has to leave in slightly less than 30 minutes. Now, 28 mm -hmm. minutes. <laughs> a made-up name. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of sound like that. Yeah. Frogman. Some guy sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it's easier thinking. to remember. <laughs> uh, Dorak the cat says Hungarian. Probably pronounces Forgatch. Oh. Well, thanks. Perhaps. Tell us that. That could be true. <laughs> Send me the number of your dealer. <laughs> <laughs> like your poker dealer, right? Because you're learning poker. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Herma. Hey, Herma. Not sure what that means. <laughs> <laughs> they must be talking to you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I would. I would guess so. Um, all right, well, should we... Um, Continue on to the next one? Yeah, so we have another game to... Another exchange, French. Yeah. This one's uh, Judith Polgar against Kramnik. We just talked about Judith the other day. I showed you the game where Spassky blundered in the opening against her, mm -hmm. but she didn't uh, She didn't punish him. Yeah. I guess she was just doing commentary on the Legends tournament. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was really actually great to see her. Um, she was on the Chess 24 commentary along with Karpov and um, I enjoyed seeing her a lot um, doing the commentary and yeah. then Kasparov was on there too so wow. they had sort of they were there together <laughs> obviously no hard feelings against that cheating <laughs> <laughs> right just, just kidding Kasparov <laughs> right <laughs> anyway it was good to see her on there um, and I really liked seeing a woman commentator that didn't feel the need to to talk about nonsense. Right. So. Well, she's such a strong chess player that, you know, <laughs> she has to talk about chess. <laughs> she has no choice. Yeah. But it was nice. To, I thought I enjoyed, see, I enjoyed uh, seeing her. Oh, yeah. Gustafsson and Grishuk were in the commentary. That is a good team. Yeah, it was. A, I did enjoy seeing that. So, obviously, they're trying... To, yeah, Pepe, you saw it. Um, yeah, they had, uh, at one point, they had too many people. Yeah, I thought she did great. Uh, maybe if they did have a few too many people when Kasparov was on there, too, because uh, Jan didn't really say much, which was the right, the correct thing to do for him just to kind of step back because Kasparov wasn't on the whole broadcast. Mm -hmm. And we can see Jan anytime. Yeah. It, um, so he did the right thing by shutting up. Um, not that he, not that I dislike him or anything, but <laughs> no, Jan is too funny. Jan oh, I like so him. Funny, yeah, yeah, but it, there, there were just too many of them there, mm -hmm. and they were guests. Yeah, so hopefully they'll get Judith back again. Yeah, Karpov, Karpov was still um, with it, and um, a little quiet, but still with it. We were supposed to have had Karpov at the chess club this summer, but the uh, pandemic ruined that. That's true. So maybe we'll get him in the future. Oh yeah, I did forget Grishuk. I certain Grishuk, but I didn't mean to 
leave him out. But, you know, we can see him doing commentary anytime as well. <laughs> I didn't see it. I don't know how to say his name, Rustam. Kazim Janov. I didn't really see him, but he was great too, it sounds like. Yeah, so. in fact, for a, uh, what was it? It was just, I think, a Sunday lecture. I did a game where it was Kazim Janov against Kasparov. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. hey, look who it is, Indo Queen. Yay, hey, Indo Queen. How's <laughs> it going? <laughs> We're just about to start another game with the exchange French, Indo. Yeah, why don't so we let's uh, get, get to going. It. It's uh, Polgar against Kramnik, just refreshing there. Mm -hmm. And Kramnik goes for knight c6, which is definitely a better winning try than knight f6, in my opinion. And uh, hey, I was just wondering, do you remember what uh, I suggested white to play here as the main line? Um... Probably not, but let me. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> let me take a look. Yeah, I would imagine Kasparov definitely uh, tried to get as much in edgewise as he could. <laughs> oh, yeah. I enjoyed seeing him very much. Maybe Bishop G5. Here? Yeah. You said this last time, and, oh. I, and I was like, did you mean Bishop G5 hey, instead hey, of Bishop B5? Oh. Yeah, Bishop B5 is the move. Pinning oh, okay. the knight. Bishop g5 is... No good. I don't know, wouldn't imagine that they'd play that. Maybe. Oh. But <laughs> why would yeah. you do that? Just because it attacks um, the queen? I guess. Yeah. Develops a bishop. True. Well, I thought that um, maybe to... I don't know why they would... Maybe to trade off the dark squared bishops. Um, yeah, maybe, I guess. But I even mm -hmm. could play f6. Mm -hmm. Even though never play that, but... <laughs> But anyways, bishop b5 is the move. Okay. Trying to pin the knight, and if they take it, then you'll get a really bad pawn structure, because you've already played d5. We we talked about this also in the um, in the London. Yeah, I vaguely I do vaguely remember it. Sorry, my memory is not the best since I go over something more than once. Yeah, this was the line. It was here. Mhm. Mm and then like this. And then we get four isolated pawns. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is how you get that position. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, black is uh, black's doing all right here. Absolutely fine with two bishops and a wide open board. Which certainly compensates for the bad structure. Yeah. Man. That's uh, basically, I think, in my opinion, the only, like, serious way white could play to try to get an advantage. Mm -hmm. um, because it's pretty double-edged there, and, and white can... Um, well, either side could play for a win. But the way Judith plays with bishop d3, it's sort of like, you would say, a normal way to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got some more sent to twos. Nine, 99. Thank you, Jim Benjamin. Fine you have goal. to say it like that because it's him, you know. <laughs> 99. Nine, 99. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, bishop d3. So that's sort of like how you would normally play it, I guess. But you'll see that she actually plays a quick c4. Right about here, which makes a lot of sense. Like I was mentioning with the bishop on d6, that's not the best square in an isolated queen pawn situation, which is about to occur after takes takes, because it blocks the queen. Okay. Although Judith did waste the tempo to play bishop d3, then bishop takes. Oh, Indo Queen cheered. Oh, thank you, Indo Queen. Times I'll one. complete you and bit <laughs> for an even hundred. <laughs> oh, and doubled it up with another hundred. Thanks, Indo Queen. Yeah, it, yeah, it is kind of weird that Judith played in in this style. Um, you know, Judith was a really uh, aggressive attacking player, but it's also unusual to see Kramnik play the French. So maybe she was thinking like, why is Kramnik playing the French? You know, maybe he has some weird prep <laughs> and she wants to avoid it. Yeah. Because uh, as far as I know, Kramnik wasn't much of a French player. Yeah, I was going to ask that. So, so, hmm. Yeah, if at all. But, well, you know, he felt the felt the need. Mix yeah. it up. H3 is a good move. So, yeah, I think that out of the opening, it's pretty equal. Uh, White obviously wasted a tempo to do this, but it's not a big deal. And, like I said, Black doesn't have the totally optimal setup as far as the piece configuration for an isolated queen pawn. Mm -hmm. Why h3? To stop bishop g4, because oh, that okay. would put pressure on the d pawn. Okay. Yeah. Um, but here Kramnik plays a really uh, weird move. 
Mm. I wouldn't really expect it. Bishop e6. Yeah, he finishes development and says that you can ruin my pawn structure too. We'll both have an isolated pawn. Hmm. Yeah, definitely an unusual move. So, I guess he just really doesn't want that bishop on that diagonal. <laughs> yeah, this game was 1997, Pepe. Uh, hey, Jay Wolfent. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jay's in there. Um... Right, there is a tactical trick involved with the fork on d5. Oh, yeah. What would uh, black do about that? Let me look for a moment. You got this one. All right, so the last move here was okay, so. You're telling me they are, they're going to go d d5, so what would black do? Yeah, if white plays d5, what would okay. black play? Um. Let's see. Oh yeah, Nerononum gets it. Let's see, take a pawn. I don't know, you could maybe somewhere in the back and forth you can go um, bishop h2 check maybe. That doesn't like, give away material. You got it right, but you got to get that move order down. Okay, all right, so d5, let's see. Um. Yeah, normally it's black falling for this trick. Pepe's right. Where black takes the d4 pawn and, mm -hmm. and loses the queen. It's a similar trick. Okay, so let me see if I can calculate it. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so maybe, okay, so take first with the knight, like mm -hmm. d5, knight takes, um, bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes, and then bishop h2 check, and then you can win, win the queen. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's right. So d5 doesn't work, obviously. Yeah. You know, white can just let you take the pawn and then lose a pawn, but obviously shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. And then they could even not take with the queen to just lose a piece, but they shouldn't do that. But if they take every way, then you win um, at the end with bishop h2, exactly right. Okay. So that's why she did just take on e6, um, which I think that he is pretty close to equal in that in that variation, actually, after bishop e6. Mm -hmm. But um, I think knight f5 would be a more normal move in case you're looking for an, an alternative here, like this, and then queen f6. Yeah, see, you can put pressure this way, because like I said, the bishop on d6 is a little awkward for this structure, mm -hmm. but we can get our queen this way to attack it. Mm -hmm. This is what the computer was suggesting. Hey, James Laos. We can snap this off, get out of the way of the rook, threaten this. Thank you, Pepe. You. I had to really strain. I have a hard time cap visualizing. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was somewhere in there. Yeah, you got it. I knew you'd get that one. I can't calculate very well. All right, anyway. So in this position, black will have the bishop pair and even less pawn islands, which is pretty good. Um, but, yeah, the queen is, is able to be harassed here. I mean, has to worry about this threat, first of all. But um, it's definitely, you know, a double-edged position. Peter was saying it's about equal. I think I generally would rather have black. I like two bishops. What else? <laughs> You know? Yeah. So knight f5 was a good way to equalize, too. Mm -hmm. Bishop e6 instead. And then you said, yeah, she took. Yeah, definitely. Knight c3. Queen e8. Also, he could have considered queen d7, but he wants to move his queen over to the king side. Mm -hmm. Rook e1. And he goes queen g6. This is probably not the best move. Uh, queen, I still think queen f7 can equalize. He can't go for knight g5, by the way, because of f2. But maybe uh, he was thinking she would, like, defend f2 and then threaten knight g5. You know, I don't think it's a big deal for him to play h6. Even though it weakens his white squares, but he's got a lot of control of the white squares with these guys. Mm 
and there's no white square bishop for white. So yeah, I think this is totally playable. I mean, both sides just have an isolated pawn. That's not a big deal. Should be pretty equal then. Mm -hmm. I mean, black has really good development. It seems like it'd be easy to trade that off too, if you wanted to, if they wanted to. Oh, like playing e5? Yeah. That's yeah. Point. If you want to get rid of it. Yeah, but maybe they would just uh, push past you. Yeah, that's true. And then if, if you might be sad if your bishop's blocked there. Mm -hmm. But maybe you could even like sack a pawn with knight d4, takes, takes, takes. And your bishop's open. But anyways, that, that would be a, you know, a decision for another day, <laughs> really. <laughs> But yeah, queen g6 was played, which uh, Judith handles this really nicely. She lifts the rook, rook e4, which is really good. It, it's got two ideas. One is to play rook g4, which is what she does in the game. Mm -hmm. And another one is to double it up on the backwards e-pawn, the isolated e-pawn. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this was a nice multi-purpose move. And, and it's not like the, the rook's like safe here, too. You can't even attack it, you know? Mm-hmm. So that was a good move. Kind yeah. of a, an unusual looking move, but a good one. He goes behind the e-pawn, getting ready to defend it with like a knight move. Which is what he does. Yeah, but here Judah gives away some of her advantage with rook g4. That was the move that I said that she did earlier already. But she can actually target this pawn to where it's indefensible. All she has to do is move her bishop. And then the next move is going to be to triple it up. Oh, yeah. Which not only would that threaten the pawn, but it would also threaten the knight, by the way. Oh, yeah, okay. So let's say, for example, you want to defend it. I gave a variation here. Uh, okay, I gave queen f7. This sort of is threatening knight f6 now, because then the queen's not blocked. Mm -hmm. Like this. Our knight is threatened, after all, because it's pinned. Right. So let's take it. They'll take back somehow. Well, they should take back this way. And then knight d8. Thank you, CJ oh, Gray. Oh, yeah, CJ got us for 100 bits. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should date and then get married. I think they mean me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. You already are married. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, we got hit with bishop g5 also. So anyways, the moral of the story is that this pawn is, is uh, you know, under siege. It's marked, yes. right? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> As Lasker would say. So this actually would have been enough for her to be pretty close to winning, actually, after knight d5. But instead she went for queen, uh, rook g4, rather, which makes this logical move. You know, it's a safe-looking move, but... It doesn't end up like winning a pawn. And he plays queen f5. Queen f7 was probably safer. But he I guess he never wanted to see this. He was like really afraid of that move, you know. Bishop h6. And rook f7. Mm -hmm. Defending g7. Well, also maybe that was why, right? He didn't play queen f7. Because of here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, no, but it was knight f4. I remember looking at this. Yeah, knight f4 is a key defense there. Yeah, oh, yeah. nice move. I mean, she could take it, then she's not threatening g7. Uh, her queen is hanging, so if you play like rook takes g7, we could just take it and then take there, and black's going to be winning. But, Okay. We couldn't um, they move the queen after Yeah, that. but then we'll just play knight g6. Rock solid, then. All right, let me see. I don't. I can't calculate it. So if rook takes, check. Queen takes. Okay. Um, and then I guess the queen just moves somewhere. Well, and then white lost a queen. I mean a rook, rather. You played rook takes g7. I took it for free. You're just going to move away? It's my turn again? Dang. Um, Mate, you. Throw it, take your bishop. <laughs> but I took your rook, and you did nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you play rook g7, I play queen takes rook. You know, oh, yeah. I okay. want a rook at okay. the beginning. So, <clears throat> yeah, anyways, this defense would have been fine for black. You know, either you 
yeah, maybe you move your queen and the knight blocks, or you take it and wouldn't lose g7. Mm -hmm. But he, he went for queen f5. But yeah, she should be better here again. But this just shows you how complicated this game got. They both made, like, some inaccuracies. Mm -hmm. But they were both playing for the win, really. Attacking and, the queen. And for people that got here late, this is a game um, with um, Judith Polgar versus Kramnik. Yeah, Judith's white against Kramnik. What, what year do you know? 97. 97. Oh, that's right, 97. Um... <laughs> <laughs> What are they talking about you? About my shirt. CJ's like, uh, he even likes Adventure Time and I don't, but I'd pretend like it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's so cute, CJ. That is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the queen's the only defender of the knight. This is correct, because it's pinned. But that's why Kramnik went for the intermezzo, knight takes c3, hitting the queen. Oh, so, I see. So he had that as his uh, tactical resource. So he didn't lose his knight or anything. Mm -hmm. And then he just slid it on over to target the c3 pawn. So both sides still have structural problems. Yeah. That's for sure. Bishop d2. Computer liked rook c1 more, but bishop d2 is not that bad. And then this is like, like you were saying this earlier, this pawn break e5. Mm -hmm. That's what he went for. Makes a lot of sense to try to trade it away. Even though it's pinned, so he can't really take it yet. But if we do get to take at any point, if you take back, you know, imagine you don't lose your queen, I don't lose my rook, that, and we just take, take, mm -hmm. then we will have a great pawn structure with black. Yeah. No problems, and they have two isolated mm -hmm. pawns. Definitely. Oh, Something CJ happened. Oh, CJ Gray gave us 100 bits. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, CJ Gray. Take it easy. Thank you for the 100 cent to do's. <laughs> so... Yeah, after e5, she played knight f3. Putting a little pressure, because remember, he can't take it, because right. it's been, so just put some pressure. Mm -hmm. But then he doubled up on the seventh rank, mm -hmm. pretty, or on the bubble up. Pretty solid there. Yeah, rock solid, right? <laughs> and he's actually threatening to take. Right. And this is really defended. Yeah, this is like going pretty okay for black now. Mm -hmm. He's got no problems, really. You know, he's going to get rid of his pawn. But there are still some things that white could have done here but she plays kind of an inexplicable move in my opinion i don't really know why she did this i, I think she miscalculated something that i didn't look at because i couldn't find it you know but she went for d5 hmm. well that's what you said earlier that they might do yeah but i would assume that it wouldn't hang a pawn if you did it <laughs> mm -hmm. where this obviously does because he could just take it which he did do yeah, that's true. This queen's over there now. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm not really sure. Is uh, that a, just a blunder? Yeah, I just lost the pawn. Okay. And I thought that there was maybe some tactic she was looking at, but I couldn't find what she looked at that didn't work, you know? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Turnham J, for that raid. Nice. Thank you. Welcome. We're looking over um, a game with Judith Polgar as white versus Kramnik as black. There was some other noise. Thank Thanks, you. Pepe. Thank you, Pepe, you... And if, I, if you would prefer we say your name a different way, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, D5, it was a, a strange decision. You know, maybe she did have some variation that she thought worked that uh, I couldn't even comprehend, you know. That happens sometimes. Anyway, mm -hmm. C4 is the move. Explosive move, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, DK and Quest, Questia and Big Daddy. How's it going? <laughs> I love to say Big Daddy. <laughs> I love to say XXX Big Daddy XX. <laughs> that's, that's too many, that's too many <laughs> syllables. That's too many syllables. I do I need, need more emotes if you're talking to me, Quest J-E. <laughs> but maybe you're talking to Romario. Uh, spin <laughs> <laughs> It's too funny for you to even say it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Spencer is my big daddy. All right. <laughs> All right. Onward. <laughs> so, anyways, this would have been a better move because it didn't hang a pawn. And mm -hmm. it looks pretty normal to play this way. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, uh, and discovered. And yeah, I mean, queen a6 would be a good move to pin the pawn. Mm -hmm. 
And I mean, White would still have to be worried about you know the center. It's under some pressure. And even if you play, if you ever play like d5, we can try to hop it up in there, like I was saying. Mm -hmm. And then if takes takes, we hit the queen, so we don't immediately lose our d pawn. Right. So that'd be stuff that White has to worry about. But um, computer liked White here. You know, White should still be a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Which uh, I, I guess is fine. You know, fair enough. I don't think it matters too much. Mm -hmm. You're pretty close to equal. What was the time control of the game? I think it was just a slow game. Okay. That was just but weird. I, I actually didn't see the... Uh, a weird move, if, if that, I guess, was a right. blunder. Yeah, I, w I would agree. Mm -hmm. It did seem like she... You know, it's, it's tough for me to explain the blunder, honestly. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, maybe she's trying to get, like, some c5 going here is what I thought. But uh, he just he just plays queen c5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he could play, like, knight d4 if he needs to. You know, like, bishop e3, knight d4 looks okay. So she goes for knight g5. She keeps going for the initiative here. That's her style. Like this. And then knight e4. Yeah. And uh, he still hopped in with knight d4. Nice counterattack. I love how he's playing so nicely on the dark squares, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> really got those dark squares under control. Yeah. Here, probably queen d3 is the best move. And this is kind of a nice diagonal, too, because the rook is a little loose. And we can also try to play knight g5 and target h7 if you move it. Mm -hmm. But she went for a always play queen f1. See, so she she misunderstood my dad's emotes. <laughs> and she and she thought, well, it's a diagonal moving piece. It's some diagonal moving piece to f1. I forgot which one. Why do you, th why do you think she went there? Well, it's safer there. Um, I don't think it's, uh, in general, so bad. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely less active. And she, I guess she wanted to defend f2 a little bit, too, because, you know, there's there's some uh, phantom threats here. Mm -hmm. If she stayed on the same dialogue as the rook, there's no chance to win the rook. You mean with here? Yeah. Well, the rook is defended, so she'd have to prepare it, like, yeah. with a move like bishop e3 or something if she wants to pull some tactics there. Yeah, so it'd be at least one other. Right, it's not like, I mean, White's already given up the advantage and is, is doing poorly at mm -hmm. this moment uh, because she gave up that pawn. So it's not like you could find anything that's really good for her. But uh, this would have been more active. And I, I think she was afraid of some tactic here, but uh, like maybe knight c2, for example. Right, because knight c2 threatens this and that. But okay, you could just play rook f1, so that wouldn't be a big deal. Hmm. Right. So is there another one? Knight here, maybe? But even still, you could try this. And Well, anyways, this is hanging, so we can't even do anything like that yet. Yeah, that's true. And okay. if you do a check... Oh, anyways, the knight's even defending it, so there's just no way to get this going. So I don't know exactly why, then. You know? I don't know exactly why she preferred queen f1. Yeah, because this knight's doing a great job. Right. Her knight's actually really good. But I guess if you go, if you play queen d3 and knight g4, or knight g5 rather, then you might have to worry about that a bit. Mm -hmm. But okay, by that time we could play rook f1 first, right? Mm -hmm. We could play rook f1 or bishop e3. <laughs> yeah, what are people saying? <laughs> Just normal stuff. <laughs> Just Damn normal CJ Gray stuff. At least I shot my shot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me just scroll up for a moment. And then we'll continue. Uh, can you marry Spencer? I'm a bit weird, but I'm very kind. And I can <laughs> learn to cook. <laughs> well, you know, that's us up to Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I'd have to know more about you than your username on Twitch. <laughs> are, yeah, are you, are you female? Let's start there. <laughs> that is the most important thing. <laughs> And then, uh, you know. So, yeah, I mean, anyways, I couldn't really justify Queen F1 either, but I, I don't think it matters too much. She already sort of, you know, screwed the proverbial pooch. Queen back. Then she tried for C5. She's, she's always keeping up the initiative. Yeah. But 
She had to give up another pawn for this. Here. Mm -hmm. She goes like this. See, she's still making some phantom threats, I guess. Even though even this is defended, so... Yeah, kind of hard to make threats against Kramnik, I guess. Yeah. He's so solid. And then uh, he just kicks it away. This is a great move. Here. Mm -hmm. x clam. It makes a nice... It, even though he sort of already had luft, King h7 is a better square to go to if he needs to, to get off the back rank. Right. And it hits the rook on the knight as well. So a good long-term and short-term move. That's what you like to see. Has to play rook h4, which is pretty ugly. <laughs> Can hardly move there. Queen g6, locking that rook in place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And lining up against the king. And putting pressure here. Yeah, and also uh, you have to worry about this fork if your queen is trying to like take a pawn or check me and I run away. Then you're going to have to watch out for Forkton. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to be in Forkton. Um, but here comes another check. Rook E, F7. Yeah, but now he's got this. And now it's already, uh, it's Busto at this point. That's a big fork, and she has to give up the exchange. And she already was down two pawns. Yeah. So uh, he ended up winning. I actually don't think I have any more notes here. I don't know that every time I guess you just come in late. Yeah, that's all right. It was only a minute or so. Like this. Knight d2. Yeah, I mean, now it's over. She could resign, I guess. But uh, she played it on a little bit. No shame in that. Although mm -hmm. I think I would resign. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't you think you'd resign against Kramnik? Um... You know, I don't know. <laughs> but it's a lot of material to be down. Yeah. And she's just playing queen e2 to c4 to e2. But maybe she didn't have a lot of time, you know. It's kind of hard to resign when you don't have a lot of time. Yeah. Does he ever get low on time? Maybe he was low on time. That's true, yeah. He could have been low on time. Mm-hmm. Okay, but she decided to resign now. Mm-hmm. After pushing all her king side fun. <laughs> <laughs> Did a last-ditch effort. Yeah. Um. Okay, I did see a profile there, CJ. Okay, well, let's let's check out the chat for a moment. Now, I, I um, I want this scroll up. That is kind of weird. The scroller doesn't work on no, that. No, sometimes it does. Let me get up here. All right. So, okay, here's what CJ. Yeah, Quest Gray. is right though. Uh, cats are better than dogs. I prefer cats. We have two dogs. Now, I, I see that CJ uh, hey has posted, hey, Darf, has posted um, a little profile. It's like a dating site all of a sudden. All right. <laughs> um, well, we got to look at it. Wait, where'd it go? Uh, I'm oh, female. I'm 24. I have a degree in art, and I've also oh, studied sociology. That last, that last line, though, about I love dogs. loving dogs, but cats are only okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really picky about I have two cats, you know. <laughs> Uh, Quest J, J E says I'm neutral about zebras. <laughs> zebras are one of my favorite animals. Um, uh, really? Yeah, I love zebras. They look cool. They're like cool horses. They're pretty. Yeah, they're like if horses had some pizzazz. You know, you <laughs> zhuzhed up a horse a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I they, like you that. know, they are certainly pretty. Um, you know, I like cats, but I have two dogs, so you know. At a glance, you're the right age, CJ. And uh, gender. You know, so that female is, you know, and... Uh, inspiring optimism. I love the art, you know, likes chess. Went to school, apparently. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> we, you, are you cute? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. Zebras, I think, are like the appropriate chess animal because they're black and white. That's true. Tarnum, so... That's, you know, I think that that, that fits. <laughs> Very tactfully put, Sam <laughs> Well, wow, I just know Spencer. And if I might say so, I have, you know, I am able to predict your type quite often. I, yeah. I could agree with that. I know Spencer very well. So, you know, send all resumes and pictures. To <laughs> <laughs> no. But um, some people think I'm cute, and some people think my nose is too big. 
But I think my soul is very nice. Well, the soul does matter. I like big noses. My nose isn't small. Mine neither. Um, I've come to terms with it. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely take a good soul over a good nose. That's right. true. Ben has a big nose. Don't you, GM Benjamin Feinkel? Runs in the family. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess I'll be taking my leave. Yeah, so Spencer has to leave. Um, I hope they were instructive yeah, to all you thank Twitch you. people definitely. and YouTube people later, too. So the <laughs> question is... I am going to keep streaming a little bit longer, but obviously I can't, uh, you know, teach any chess. It's easier. Yeah, just play some, uh, you know, play some people on there. Yeah, I can play somebody, though, and then tomorrow, maybe karaoke? <laughs> I would go for karaoke, yeah. All right. Um, you can hold me to it. All right, we'll talk tomorrow, then. Yes. Right. Ben doesn't really like the um, karaoke place. Thank you, Darf. Um but especially the time of COVID, you know, Ben's not going to go. But they have the karaoke out on, hey, Pam, out on the patio. So it's outside. So I, Spencer and I met there a couple of times, and it did seem reasonably safe. Oh. See ya. Um, and I do like to go. But, you know, I don't want to get the COVID. So that's the thing. So maybe we'll go. Um, so we do karaoke here. <laughs> hey, Squire. Well, you know, sometimes we could have like a little stream karaoke. I've seen people do that. Um, I noticed at one time that she, you had, she was using, um, I think she was just playing, um, Oh, Twitch, Twitch, you did Twitch Sings. I've I've heard of that, but I don't know what it is. But I saw that she you was just playing some songs on YouTube, but it seems like that might be breaking some rules. So I don't want to get um, in trouble in any way. Um, but anyway, all right, I'm going to see if anybody wants to play me in a game. Ben's supposed to stream at in about an hour. And so I saw that he posted in here he was going to get his car washed. So if he gets here early enough, maybe he'll jump in here and analyze the game. But I'm not going to promise that. <laughs> um, so here we go. Who can I play? I'm going to start out. I'm going to play Nur Anonim. And, yeah, well, send me um, a challenge turn, MJ. I've got – oh, time, what, time control. I prefer um, – if it's just me playing, in, which it is, and not hand and brain, it can be rated or unrated. I don't care. But it needs to be three or five minute because any longer, I think, is just too long for the stream for me. Hey. Oh, Ben is here already. <laughs> I'm about to play a game. Would you like to play a game? Why does it look like that? We changed the... Um, is it changed supposed it. to look like that or it's broke? No, we changed it. Oh. That's pretty cool. All right, Nuranonum, are you going to go? <laughs> ben just got here. I did? Yeah. You can start right here. You have to do a All right, he's going to time out, Nuranonum. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, there it goes. You don't know what you're going to do? Uh -huh. mm. Let's see. I'm hearing some noises. And I hear some other noises. Thank you, CJ Gray. I, you know, I'll try to tell Spencer to marry you. Because Spencer, you know, is single. And he does need to settle down. And, you know, I'm all for that. <laughs> He likes alternative looking ladies. Do you have any tattoos? That would be a bonus. Maybe you could go get some. <laughs> Are you talking to? Somebody that, that wants to marry Spencer. Yeah, but the, but the CJ Gray? Yeah. How can somebody named CJ Gray be a woman? 
Well, CJ is saying she'll send me her picture. You know, if you get some, um, ta you have seven tattoos. That's it. He says it eight minimum. That's actually pretty. Okay. How about any nose rings or any piercings? That would be really. Spencer has a nose for rings. Um, even better. You have mm -hmm. two boards up. Oh, I do. Oh, That's sorry. That's why it doesn't look good. Oh, darn. Get rid of them now. Oh, sorry yeah. about that, guys. Now it'll look better. <laughs> well, they were probably trying to tell me, but I was too busy. You can get one on your belly button. I would quote the Pulp Fiction scene, but then I would get banned. Mm-hmm. Now I miss which you don't have any new. Oh, that's fine. He, you know, he likes tattoos there, more than. Uh, there's a woman piercings. in Pulp Fiction who has a lot of piercings. Yeah. And then she explains where they are, but I can't. Ex I can't repeat what she said. But anyway, and then uh, when when they bring Uma Thurman back to life, life they pierce her. That's why it's. So she really likes that. Journey. Yeah. Yeah. Your computer says if we restart, you're finished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's always complaining. Yeah. I do need to reboot the computer. 14 tattoos for Pam. Scared. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very kind. That doesn't sound like anybody I know. Who's very kind? C.J. Gray. Although C.J. Gray spelled a lot as one word, so I don't know about that. It didn't capitalize. <laughs> either, either, didn't capitalize four I's in a row. Scottish demon guy says, don't do this, Karen. That's how you get crazy stalkers. <laughs> Wait, are you insinuating there are non-crazy stalkers? Or is that redundant? Um, well, I mean, CJ's not trying to date me. So <laughs> it seems pretty um, low risk. Yeah, I don't like this very kind. That doesn't sound like anybody I know. Oh, you know, I believe it. What? Yeah, why What's, not? Well, the, Spencer does like Richard kind. Yeah. The best person that I know at Tetris is 2400 USCF. Mm -hmm. Cats are non crazy stalkers. Really? <laughs> Let's see. I'm not sure what to do here. But do they like black coffee in bed? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I used to give chess lessons. Mm -hmm. And normally, but not always, I would give them on chess.com. And about half the time, I would see one position and my student wouldn't see it, which was very frustrating. Mm -hmm. So about an hour ago in the Pac-Man uh, stream he's getting a lesson with Botez mm -hmm. and that's what was happening for like 10 minutes Botez is like uh, here's the position and Paquin's like what position and then she could also see his stream and mm -hmm. she was like ugh so whatever she was doing wasn't happening on his board and I was like okay that, that was my life a year ago it's just, so it was a chess.com bug is that yeah of course to? well I wouldn't oh. call it a bug because it's always happening so oh. it's like the standard Okay, a bug read. would be if it was correct. That would be a bug. Like, why do you see the same board? So then I would give some lessons on Lee Chess, which never does that, except sometimes it did. And I was like, how could this happen on Lee Chess? So I don't know, it just always happens. Hmm. So it's hard to give lessons because now it never happened on ICC ever. Like you see the same board, you know, the one from 80 years ago. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for some reason. And you, you know how when like, you're dealing with somebody and they give you a non sequitur. That's what chess.com does. If you tell chess.com this issue, instead of saying like, oh, we better try to fix that, they say, oh, you must have one version of the software and they have another one. Can you tell us which ones you have? It's got nothing to do with anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right. It's a problem that everybody has all the time and they just pretend it doesn't exist. Well, Spencer does not have a Twitter or an Instagram. So there you go. Yeah, I'm good. Now he's not that much into social media. Mm -hmm. Well, he has an old um, Facebook account that he doesn't really use. 
also it's good. Still there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 94 viewers is good. I mean, maybe I will have a tournament tonight just because I'm too lazy to do anything. I hate doing tournaments and I hate my viewers, but. Oh, I viewers, love. Yeah, I love your viewers. Exactly. I viewers are the worst. Why do you hate the viewers? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? <laughs> I don't know if I was even right. Why do you hate the viewers? Yeah, we'll we'll hook you up, CJ Gray. Well, I don't know how we'll hook you up. We, we just got will. you, CJ. Yeah, you know, we'll... it's time for Spencer to settle down in life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that person who <laughs> claims they're a woman and claims that they're nice, they could just DM him like his Spencer Superior, right? He's Spencer Superior. His... Um, on Here, on, Twitch, on yeah, Twitch. that's yeah. true. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, Spencer didn't run away. He uh, he's, leaves work at 8. That's 8. You saw a guy eating a tomato like an apple. There's lots of tomatoes, actually, whether they're standard or not, which you can just eat like fruit, since tomato is a fruit. Um, yeah, there are tomatoes like that. The funny scene was when George was eating a, uh, an onion Yay. and thought it was another fruit. And he probably looked a little strange. Yeah. Well, the Hampton tomatoes, very good. Maybe it was tomato, also good. Man, there's some really, there's some good like references in the chat. There's Seinfeld references, there's Simpsons references. It's pretty good. Yeah. We haven't had 100 viewers since I've been watching, but we're really close now. We've got 96, mm -hmm. 97. Well, let's see, what's the time situation? Even. Yeah, it's never good. No, it's okay. Darn. I don't even know how much time I had. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what are people saying? Why can't it be a love story and really awkward? <laughs> Why don't this scroller work? I hate this mouse. Uh -huh. All right, let me go back up and see what people are saying. Scottish Demon Goat says, do you hate me, Ben? I mean, probably, but I don't know who you are. <laughs> I would assume I do. Hey, Kappa, well, I love you guys, so, you know. <laughs> one of my fists says love and one says hate, so I have, it depends which one I read. Spencer did not run away. Spencer was always planning on leaving at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Mm -hmm. You love this really, Ben. Ben loves, you know, you guys sometimes. Um, the bad news is C.J. Gray lives in Beirut. That's the bad news. Aw. Yeah. Well, you know, C.J. Gray, Spencer, mm -hmm. you know... 
it's not he's not rushing to settle down either that was me that said he should settle down um where'd some noise happen by quest J E. what happened um, the guy who beat you gave you a hundred centimeters oh thank you neuronum i don't think i said good game sorry i was still in shock about my loss <laughs> i can't get this scroll to work it's pretty annoying um <laughs> yeah good game um why do people think you're russian because you type so quickly you're always russian <laughs> pre-move well darn i'm trying to learn how to pre-move it's not something that um comes easy to me i love you guys pam so i guess i just have to love enough for for the both of us here <laughs> Yeah, I think a tournament's good, though. Boo. Um, Indo Queen says, Hi, Ben. Viewers give you money. That's true, Boognish. You loves us really, says Pass Pawn. I already read that comment. The scrollers stinks. I guess I saw some guy eating a tomato like an apple. <laughs> um, you make sure your chats are non sequiturs. Does anybody read the chat? I do, but I can't read when I'm playing. I agree with Karen. I already read that. Were they Hampton tomatoes? Maybe it was tomaco. Hey, Jay Grogus, 2801. Uh, hey, Maxie, I again. If you call them people, uh, pre-move, pre-move. I'm glad you sent him a message, CJ Gray. Um, but I'm just going to, you know, keeping it real here. He is going to need a picture. <laughs> and I know that your soul is beautiful, but that's just how Spencer Feingold works. Now, just trying to, to help out here. Um, yeah, also, why are you Russian? Uh -uh. <laughs> that's the worst dad joke in the world. Oh, the Russian one? <laughs> well, he is a dad. You know, what do you want from dads? Um, oh, when you... You're from Norway. Really? Well, that's cool. Norway. <laughs> um, you think it's Magnus' sister? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, you sent a picture to? Oh, you're going to. Yeah, I would definitely send a picture. You know, he's in. Um, but he, highlight your, um, your tattoos. He loves tattoos. And um, maybe something will happen. It will be love. <laughs> but you sound like you have a beautiful soul. I'm going to agree. Um, CJ's actually Magnus in disguise. Um, all right, so maybe let's see what time it is. Uh, I caught up on the chat. Carlson's sister does look like him. That is true. Yeah, he has a sister, really? Oh, does she play chess? Yeah, she, she knows the rules. Mm -hmm. Do you play video games, CJ Gray? Because Spencer likes video games better than chess. So he w he would prefer to be with somebody that likes video games or will learn some video games. <laughs> Spencer can't visit her, but she can visit him. He's not allowed to go to Norway. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Tom. Well, Spencer was born in Belgium, but they don't know that. The child might know that. No, I mean the government wouldn't care. Oh. He's not a Belgian citizen. Right, okay. You tried to play WoW, but it got boring. You like Dreamfall, and you like uh, CSGO. I don't know any of those games. I don't play video games, although I have played um, Smash, and I've played Minecraft. Craft. <laughs> Minecraft, <laughs> um, but chess is my favorite. And then next, I'm gonna learn poker. Dreamfall. Hmm. All right. Let me see if anybody wants to play. Um, I don't know if Spencer plays Dreamfall. He also likes that. Um, what's that adventure game that I bought him? We bought him the shirt. What? It has a Z. Zelda. Mm -hmm. He likes Zelda a lot. Who? 
Mr. Ben, unban me. I'm sorry for whatever, says Arian Chestnut. I don't know how to ban or unban mm -hmm. people. So uh, if you can call yourself a person. Yeah. Well, I can look into it, Ari and Chess 98, if you're banned on Ben's stream. Mm -hmm. if, you'll, if you'll send me a message on Twitch when we're done here, um, I can go look into your message history, and then I can decide <laughs> what you may or may not have said. Sometimes people get banned for no reason, but sometimes they have, there is a reason. Oh, that's right. C.L. Smith can do it, too. He's a mod there. Ooh, Definitely. Never heard of him. <laughs> uh, yeah, take a look if you don't mind, C.L. Smith. You know, I look at it, and if they did say something rude, I tell them what it was. Then I forgive them, and I let them back on. <laughs> you got auto-modded. Auto oh, you get auto-modded for no reason. Well, Moobot can be kind of aggressive. He had no reason. Okay, Arian Chess. Sometimes it's it's a other mod. I didn't say he had no reason. He says thank you. No, he. Oh, he had a reason. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I misread it. Well, see, you're already saying you're sorry. That's step one to getting back on. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me see. I'm gonna have to ban C J Gray because they misspelled about. <laughs> you forgot the L and you got banned and cried. I almost always let people back in, you know. But um, people say dumb things sometimes. I get it. I say dumb things sometimes. So, all right, let's play a game. Let's go, Maxi. I. So, if you're still wanting to play, here we go. I gotta try to go fast. That's so difficult. For me. Which grandmaster's last name gets the most points in Scrabble? And your last name is two words. You can't use a grandmaster's name in Scrabble. You didn't capitalize grandmaster or witch. So you're banned. Hmm? I'm banning this person on your stream for their, you know, their indolence. Probably as my Parashvili, or it could be Jinjahashvili. Nobody knows. It must be Jinjahashvili because he has two Zs. You have 105 viewers. Yeah. That's the most. Mm Is it proper to capitalize Grandmaster? What kind of question is that? <laughs> I've never been so mad. What are they saying? Nothing. I've just I gotta ban a lot of people when I get to my stream. <laughs> well, you know. You need you gotta love some people sometimes. Not, you know, not love them. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, that seems bad. Oh, I didn't, almost didn't even see that. <laughs> uh, let's see if this thing will do. I'm behind a minute on time. I 
never play F6. I'm sorry. And that's why. Uh, yeah. Darn. I don't have anything I can do. The curse of F6. Well, I guess I should have defended that a different way. Okay, I'm going to resign. Good game, though, Maxia. Computer moves in Queen H2, and Queen takes her up. Yeah, but I'm not going to recover from that. What? <laughs> I'm just not. Yeah, I was talking to the chat. Oh. I'm um, still mad at the chat. You're mad at the chat. Now, what did the chat, what did you guys say? Why has been they mad? They spelled words wrong. They didn't capitalize them. They didn't capitalize Grandmaster. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that? Oh, bye, CJ. Terrible. I didn't know CJ left. Then I didn't ban anybody because I'm too lazy. <laughs> yeah. You didn't ban anybody. Well, you know, don't worry, CJ. Spencer will, you know, answer, I think. I knew a guy who was good at Scrabble, and he was playing, and his opponent put A-T-E, and he challenged it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he said, I don't think Ate is in the dictionary anymore. The guy said, eight, I just ate my lunch. And he went, oh. Oh, that's so funny. Little little black book of bands. I like that, James Wells. Ben asked for Trump's IQ, and he answered 130. And get banned. What? <laughs> the best way to say you're sorry is with gifted subs. <laughs> well, that can't hurt. Um. But you should say dumb things three often, not too often. Let me see who this white. Okay, Andres David. Yeah, that's in white, so I can't ever see. Uh, Soviet Ben strikes again, and you got timed out. <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Soviet yeah. Ben. <laughs> yeah. Did you ban? Did you ban them for that, or somebody else? He, or he said in the sentence he didn't get banned. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he got timed out though. But you don't. How would I know if I ban somebody? Yeah, you I don't mean, usually I remember. Say, I don't remember when I'm banning them. That's true. Yeah, you, the people mean so little to me. I don't. No, uh, but you're in real. Nothing, that's right? not even in real life. Yeah. You don't remember people's names very well. Who? Uh, Much less on. Um, yeah, I I spent a couple of years on the internet making people mad over the name Karen. And so they started calling them Karens, and now I can remember my wife's name. Yeah. Yes. Uh, is it proper? Okay, now I'm catching up. You are. Love to Mr. Ben from Kurdistan. You really are in Iraq, Ariane Chess 98? Um... Well, you beat me, Indo Queen. Uh, <laughs> yay, a thousand sentences from Nicola. Oh, yay. I knew I heard a noise. Thank you, Nicola. So generous. Thank you. Ben's just mad at the chat at Cyril. He's not always mad at the chat. Hey, Jared from Subway. You, you have the chat up on both computers. I do. Instead of, like, something else there. The reason why we have it up here, it's harder to see, is if somebody were to paste some PGN or something or FEN, mm -hmm. it's easier to get. Mm. But Hardcore 3 Pawn, hey, how's it going? You you guys had a breakup. Formerly 5IT. Hello. Etc. Nicola, yay. <laughs> How many chess boards are behind us? Hmm. Three. Hey, we have, uh, <laughs> we have 114 people. Yay, Can viewers. from HG. Um, that's a good. That's a good stream. Lower. Keep going. Ah, yeah. What's that? <laughs> she can read two comments. One with each eye. Please put <laughs> comments wrong. Um. All right. You've been streaming for an hour and a half, and I've been steaming for an hour and forty minutes. Yeah. Okay, right, so it's eight thirty-five, and you're gonna stream at nine. You said. Nine. 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 Okay, well, I might play somebody if somebody wants to. Um, let me see if I've got any challenges. That last game, you know, 
wasn't my finest. What was your favorite? <laughs> All right, so I, I, Neb, it will call you for short. We've decided as we previously agreed upon. Let me see if you're still here, Neb. And if so, I'll play you. And it's good for me to do three minutes. <laughs> yeah, you think it was great, Maxi? Go, Pam. <laughs> oh, I need to go. He's talking. Uh, I don't like it when people do that move. <laughs> I don't really seems like I don't doesn't work for me to take so just ignore it It wasn't really very good. Uh, Bishop's blocked up. have no plan at all. <laughs> doesn't seem to be very good. I mean, I should resign already. Um. There are the two bishops. Yeah. Can't beat that. Well, obviously, you can. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to resign again. I don't even, I'm not even a big resigner. But obviously that's no good. There was a game in Title mm -hmm. Tuesday Thank you, yesterday. Neb. Mm -hmm. And it was Rook against Rook. And that was it. Yeah. And the guy resigned. And then it turned out he was like trying to click the draw for a button, but he clicked resign. Oh no. This yeah. was, you said in the Title Tuesday? Or whatever the new mm -hmm. name of it is. Was right. it? 
Oh, that's no good. I bet he was it somebody that you recognize you didn't know who it was. Yeah, I would take the rematch, Neb, but I have a couple of other challenges, so I should probably take those. Um, so let me take the next one. Mr. Rufus Doofus. We're all named. <laughs> there are a lot of permutations of that name. There's Rufus and Doofus. You shouldn't have checked me to where I, I know Scottish demon goat. <laughs> I'm going to go to the bathroom. Bathroom, okay. And then I'm going to go to my stream. All right. And I'll set up. And I would use that other restroom. You know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I will. Yep. That's a better one? Yep. Right. <laughs> yeah, this one's a little too close to the stream. Mm -hmm. Well, you get an invoice. Yeah, that's from the books that we just recently no, this got. this is the heating and air. Oh, that's, yeah. What, what do they charge us? Well, let's see. One ninety. Mm -hmm. Eighty-five labor, 105 materials. That's probably correct. Darn, I forgot to go H3. It's cold in here, especially. Mm hmm. I don't think Let's see. I forgot about my bishop would be attacked. Yeah, Ben's going to be streaming soon, so um, hopefully you guys will stick around. I'll probably get on Ben's stream, too. Unclear. He seems to be in a rather grumpy mood. <laughs> but... Um, I think there's going to be a tournament. Um, which I'm looking forward to because he hasn't done any tournaments lately. Let's see. Oh, I think I just trapped my bishop. Mm. And get it on out of the way. And I'm low on time.
and down and keep hanging material. Got all these hanging ponds. <laughs> Mr. Rufus Doofus is so nice. He doesn't take them. Well, that's what I get for pre-moving. I had to anyway because I was about to lose. So I said, this is why I'm not the best pre-mover. So, hello. <laughs> hey. You win? No, I haven't won any of my games. I'll be right back. I need to plug in the other computer. Oh, are you about to set up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, no, I haven't won any of my games. Crap on that. All right, one of my computers died, so I was just trying to fix it. Good game, though, Mr. Rufus Doofus. Didn't mean to be a bad sport here. Hang on. But um, I'm frustrated, obviously, by my play. I just you know, suck. <laughs> I suck. Uh, why isn't this working? I'm trying to log in over here. One of my computers died. It's not totally necessary, but it would be nice to use it. Why isn't this working? Oh, there we go. Hang on a second. Sorry. I'm just trying to fix the computer that just died. I like to use this other computer because I can see the chat better. But I have the chat open here too. So it's just a matter of getting okay. <laughs> um, what are you guys talking about? The game is weird. Um, what? Oh, some other game. I was gonna say if it's my oh thank, you. thank you Jay um, Jay Wolfent for the 100 cent to do's. Jay Grogas says this sounds like you feel like I did yesterday, Karen, 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 Karen. Much swearing and gnashing of teeth over this damned game. All I can say is this too shall pass. I know I get really frustrated, but um, I know that it'll pass. And. Why the heck this mouse won't... Okay, I'm going to give up on this... Getting this other... Screen to work. Because it's not worth all that. Anyway. What I, what I need is a better... Power strip with more things to plug in. You guys wouldn't even believe how much stuff I have plugged in here. <laughs> ben just has... Ben has one monitor. I have two monitors... And um, you know all sorts of stuff. In fact, it w I used to share his monitor, and then I didn't. I wouldn't stream just because I didn't want to have to set up. And now everything's set up, so I just come in and plug my computer in. Anyway, um, hey McJurgle, Ben's going to be streaming in about ten minutes, so I'm going to play one more game. Let's see who I can play. I played you already, Nur Anonim, although I do love to play you. So let me play somebody different first, and then if we still have time, you're next. 
Uh, I'll play the next one behind you, which is James Law Laws. Hey, James. If you're still there, let's go. <laughs> James is better than me, but James also has a speed issue that um, hurts him sometimes. I think Ben is starting to stream now. So... But maybe he's in there testing. I hear him talking. Um, so who knows? I think he is streaming, but don't leave. <laughs> um, I don't really want to trade queens. I guess I shouldn't have gone there. Notice that um, I have a similar time to James because we're both slow. He is way better than me, though. There's no doubt about it. His rating's higher. He's better. See, I just got forked. But um, what should I do about that situation? I don't think I can do anything. Okay, so after this game, this is the last game of the stream, last thing. And I'm sorry for you guys that came late. Hey, Corvette. Um, we weren't, I wasn't announced in Discord. Hmm. I don't usually do that. Ben usually does that. He was getting a car wash. <laughs> you know, he has priorities. But, um... Let's see. I'm feeling demoralized. Because I'm down material. But anyway... Um, yes, yeah, Spencer had to do the learning part of the stream first. We looked at a couple of games that I thought were interesting. One with Rubenstein and one with Judith Pogar and um, Kramnik. This is just crap. <laughs> this is crap, James Law. Laws. <laughs> but um, nonetheless I will not resign because I have six more seconds than you <laughs> um, let's see Yeah, this does not seem good for me. The only thing I have going for me is slightly more time. Um,
darn. I didn't even see that, mate. James Laws. I, I start to, when I get low on time, I just can't calculate. Good game, though. That was a good game. Um, I don't think I won any of my games this time. That's a bummer. Wah. I did play everybody that was higher rated, rated than me, but still. All right, so Ben is streaming already, so we're going to raid him. I, you know, I may have had him, had him at hello, Nuranonum. <laughs> but, you know, it's not over till it's over. So that's the way it is. You're 3-2 now coming back. Yeah, that's true. I have beat James Law, Laws before. Um, so he's better than me, but I can beat him. <laughs> Okay, so let me get my raid ready. Don't leave. Don't leave. You have to go over with the raid. Don't just go clicking. Yeah, thank you for the game, James. And thanks for everything, you guys. And if I missed any thank yous for bits or anything, sorry. I'm not the best um, at multitasking. GM Benjamin Feingold. So we're going to raid Ben... And I'll probably see you guys over there. I think he's going to have a tournament tonight, which he hasn't done in a few days. So maybe it looks like I need to get on there and play some games. But I'll see you guys soon. And so forth. Bye.